Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm DeBorg. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. This is going to be the next baseball podcast as we talk about on Drelton Simmons getting signed for a very good team friendly one year contract coming off of an off season last year that he hit only in the 220s, the slick field and shortstop. Signs with the Chicago Cubs for one year. $4 million to add to the pretty good infield because they got Nick Mandragold in that infield. Uh, they, of course, have Nico Horner in that infield. They have David Bodie in that infield. And now they have Patrick Wisdom, Frankie Schwindel, who started hitting last year. And, well, hitting at the big league level, he's always been killer at the minor league level and just really never got an opportunity. Frank Schwindel, that is. Now you add Andrelton Simmons into that infield. That is really a very good underrated infield already. And then they're still rumored to get some of the bigger names. And I don't think having even that good of an infield, they have Madrigal, the Horners, those guys can play the outfield as well. I don't think that's going to limit the Cubs from getting any of the big name guys they've been rumored to get because they only had to pay him $4 million bucks to bring in one of the best field and shortstops. I know this is a sports slash baseball in her take, but Andrew Sims is one of the most fun guys to watch and honestly one of my favorite shortstops in the league just because He's so slick at fielding. His range is ridiculous. His diving plays is ridiculous. His throws on the run. Anything you name fielding-wise, this dude is immaculate to watch out there. He might not be the sexiest hitter. I think he's a 265 ish career average. But he's a guy in his best seasons, like 18 with the Angels. And when he hits in those 260s, is a very high valuable player, at least a B-plus value on your team, just because of how great he picks the ball and how solid if he can hit to the 260 level he can actually hit the ball if he can bounce back from last season he's perfect to mix into the Nick Magdragold who are more of a David Fletcher contact type hitter the Nico Horners who are great uh pool well who are great just go with the ball type hitters whether it's pulling it or going the other way contact hitters that have some pop more so than the Nick Magdragolds of the world and then you have the David Bodies who have some pop as well as a try to just build up his average to get above the 250s who's a very solid infielder as well and the Frankie Swindells and Patrick Wisdoms of the world. I think this Cubs team is forming a team similar to how their division for the Cardinals when sometimes they don't have the sexiest overall roster, but they have all these very good people that come together to just form a very good bunch. And I think Andrelton Simmons is a very good addition to that. So again, in conclusion, the slick fielding shortstop Andrelton Simmons goes to the Chicago Cubs for one year, four million bucks, has the potential to be one of the better under the radar contracts of the MLB offseason. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe with everybody. Please continue to subscribe above at the Easy to Use widget or down below to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.